Bernard and Anne McDonough admitted five joint charges of fraud after not paying at four restaurants and one takeaway. Hi and thank you for joining me in another video at Just Gone Viral. In this video I bring you an update on the Dine and Dash Raiders who I covered in a video previously last week. Bernard McDonough 41 and Anne McDonough 39 from Port Talbot admitted five joint charges of fraud and will be sentenced at Swansea Crown Court this month. They were found after the media and newspaper made an appeal to the public after a couple was seen to be carrying out a string of dine and dash offences, racking up large bills for food and drink, and leaving without paying. This story begins back in August last year, when they defrauded the River House on the waterfront in Swansea of £267 for food and drink. The pair dishonestly obtained food and drink for themselves and their family at four restaurants and one takeaway in South Wales, with the unpaid bills totalling more than £1,000. The restaurant at the River House stated that the couple run up a very huge hefty bill and promised to get the money from a nearby cash point. Speaking after the case, a spokeswoman for the restaurant said, We are delighted to hear justice at last has caught up with the pair. We are grateful to the public, who have not only been a huge help in tracking down these criminals, but also for their huge amount of support. The McDonough's next targeted the Golden Fortune takeaway in Port Talbot, taking £99 worth of food and drink without paying in January. The next month they enjoyed £277 worth of meals from the La Casana restaurant in Skewen, which serves Spanish and Italian food, and in March ate £196 worth of food and drink from Isabella's Brasserie in Porthcowl, both without paying. Their final offence took place on the 19th of April this year, when they ate £329 worth of food including T-bone steaks and double dessert portions. The family had originally booked the table under a fake number. Also, as you can see on camera, Anne McDonough pictured tried to pay for the bill using her savings account card, which was declined twice. She then left, but said a relative would stay behind, who soon left also following a phone call. Both the defendants covered their faces as they arrived at Swansea Magistrates Court. Anne McDonough, who also admitted four counts of shoplifting, including a designer store where she was guilty of taking items worth £1,017. This should be a clear indication and example that crime doesn't pay. Let me know your thoughts in the section below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.